Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Believe you, me, every square up to today, no matter what it's called, it's going to be called. As of today, Freedom Square in every city of our country. Nobody is going to break us. We are strong. We are Ukrainians. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully present the Shining World Leadership Award for Bravery to His Excellency Vladimir Zelensky with high salute and deep admiration for the extraordinary leadership and noble spirit you have demonstrated in defending the freedom and sovereignty of Ukraine. May you and the brave people of Ukraine always be shielded through God's protection and blessings. May the freedom that you and your people treasure and protect above your life will forever prevail by heaven's decree. Ukraine's President, His Excellency Vladimir Zelensky, a global symbol of courage and hope in a time of crisis. Continue watching to find out more. Go ahead and make war, as if you are not hated enough by all the people already. When you visit the beautiful Central African Republic, you can show your friendliness to the locals by saying Tonga Nanien, which means how are you, in Sango, one of the country's official languages. My name is Adeline, the considerate inhabitants of the Central African Republic. Thank you for being good stewards of our earth and one another in divine love. Welcome to our show, Ukraine's President, His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky, a global symbol of courage and hope in a time of crisis. During the few weeks since Russian troops invaded Ukraine on February 24th, Ukraine's President, His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky, has risen to the occasion as a fearless leader, giving his all to defend, guide and support his country and fellow citizens. Despite urgent pleas from other government leaders, for him and his family to evacuate to a safe location, he insisted on staying in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, in his country, with his people. With the help of social media, the news of his action quickly won him international admiration, as people described President Zelensky as a hero, a symbol of Ukrainian resistance. On March 1st, in an urgent speech to the European Parliament, seeking more support, he looked the audience straight in the eye, while speaking from the heart on behalf of his people, which brought tears to the eyes of his translator. We are fighting just for our land and for our freedom, despite the fact that all the cities of our country are now blocked. Nobody is going to enter and intervene without freedom and country. Believe you, me, every square up to today, no matter what it's called, it's going to be called. As of today, Freedom Square in every city of our country. Nobody is going to break us. We are strong. We are Ukrainians. When President Zelensky appeared on screen in early March to address the public in major European cities such as Frankfurt, Paris and Prague, he was met with huge crowds and cheers. 
The people are demanding that their governments do more to help and support Ukraine. In a short period, His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky has unified not just his nation, but the entire Western world, winning the hearts and minds of the people with his bravery, steadfast efforts, and loving devotion to his country that shines through his simple, sincere words. However, a hero is not made overnight. Before becoming a global household name, who was Volodymyr Zelensky? How did he become Ukraine's president at 41 years of age? How did he become the person he is today? Let's find out. On January 25, 1978, Volodymyr Oleksandrovich Zelensky was born into a Jewish family in the city of Kriveri in central Ukraine. His father was a university professor and computer scientist, and his mother used to work as an engineer. After obtaining a law degree, Volodymyr decided to pursue his passion for becoming an artist and entertainer. His talent in comedy was apparent when he won the National Comedy Competition, KVN, or Club of the Funny and Inventive, at 19. The team he belonged to was called Kvartal 95, which became the name of the TV studio and production company he founded in 2003. He once stated that the objective of the Kvartal 95 studio is to make the world a better place a kinder and more joyful place with the help of those tools that we have, which are humor and creativity. A rising star on the silver screen, Mr. Zelinsky played the leading role in several films, such as Corporal vs. Napoleon, Love in the Big City and its sequels, Eight First Dates and its sequels, as well as Office Romance, Our Time. His voice became familiar to children as the dubbed Ukrainian voice of the beloved animated character Paddington Bear. Oh, Paddington. In 2006, he partnered with professional dancer Olena Shoptenko and the pair won the premiere season of Ukraine's Dancing with the Stars TV program. Perhaps... Mr. Zelensky's inspiration to become president comes from the political satire Servant of the People, produced by the Fartel 95 studio. In this hugely popular TV series that aired from 2015 to 2019, Mr. Zelensky plays a high school history teacher who unexpectedly becomes the Ukrainian president and sets out to rid the government of corruption. Reflecting the political views of many Ukrainian people, the show evolved to become a grassroots movement leading to the formation of the political party Servant of the People in 2018. Mr. Zelensky announced his candidacy for the presidency on New Year's Eve of the same year and eventually won the election in a landslide in April 2019. In the parliamentary election three months later, Servant of the People won the majority of seats. A vegetable diet is more substantial and health-preserving. Meat stimulates gross passions in men and vitiates or impairs the bloodstream, rendering the brain unfit for serious spiritual effort. The Rev. Dester Crochet the Boo, Vegetarian Treasured viewers, let's take a moment now to hear a brief message. We'll be right back here on Supreme Master Television.
Welcome back to our show on His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky, who has demonstrated the resilience and fortitude of the Ukrainian people in their fight against the Russian invasion. Mr. Zelensky's presidential campaign was unconventional. Instead of going to campaign rallies or interviewing with the mainstream media, he mainly used social media and his own production company, Kvartal 95, to speak to the people directly. In an interview with the German weekly news magazine Der Spiegel, he said, I want to bring professional, decent people to power and would really like to change the mood and timber of the political establishment as much as possible. However, to revive a country desperately in need of reform, to challenge the establishment, to curb the influence of powerful business oligarchs, to appease people of different cultural backgrounds and roots, to walk the delicate diplomatic lines between countries, and to guide people through the COVID-19 pandemic are no small feats. President Zelensky took on his duties with his usual honest, straightforward, down-to-earth and no-nonsense style. He replaced 20 out of 24 governors of Ukraine's oblasts. He canceled the annual Kyiv Independence Day Parade to reduce costs to supply veterans funds. His bill to implement measures to undermine the political influence of Ukraine's oligarchs was passed into law in September 2021. He fulfilled his promise to reform Ukraine's referendum law, and the new law allows the people to vote on amendments to the Ukrainian constitution, a democratic and modern practice. The Donbass region of Ukraine has been plagued with conflicts between Russia, Ukraine and pro-Russian separatist groups since 2014. Despite multiple ceasefire agreements over the years, the fighting has continued with increasing influence from Russia. Before his presidency, Mr. Zelensky had performed for Ukrainian troops and made financial contributions to the army. As president, He engaged in conversations with Russian President Vladimir Putin and signed a ceasefire agreement with the separatists, which sadly failed to prevent further violations. The tension with Russia kept mounting in 2021, which led to the full-scale invasion in February 2022. Right before the war broke out, President Zelensky released a recorded speech in Russian, appealing to the citizens of Russia to try and stop the unthinkable. He said, And if the Russian leaders don't want to sit with us behind the table for the sake of peace, maybe they will sit behind the table with you. Do Russians want the war? I would like to know the answer. But the answer depends only on you, citizens of the Russian Federation. Immediately after Russia's assault, 
Mr. Zelensky declared martial law and cut diplomatic ties with Russia, refusing the assistance he was offered to leave the country during the heated conflict. He chose to remain in the capital, saying, "I need ammunition, not a ride." Since then, His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky has frequently posted virtual messages, delivered timely reports on the truth of the war, and encouraged his fellow country people, which has attracted global attention and mobilized international assistance. Всем добрый вечер. Лидер Франции тут. We are all here. Our soldiers are here, our citizens are here, and we are here. We defend our independence. We are doing everything on our part to make the agreement work. This is one of the main tasks for today. Let's see if we can go further in our negotiation process. Let's pray for our military. Let's help our civilians. Let's work for peace. Glory to Ukraine. All through the hard times, President Zelensky's loving wife of 19 years has remained faithfully by his side. First Lady, Her Excellency Olena Zelenska, wrote on Instagram, "I will not have panic and tears. I will be calm and confident. My children are looking at me. I will be next to them and next to my husband and with you." During the recent conferences, With Supreme Master Television team members on the current state in Ukraine, Supreme Master Ching Hai commented several times on the outstanding leadership of His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky. The following is from a discussion on March 18th. President Zelensky visited wounded soldiers recovering at a military hospital. He also awarded the troops and hospital workers with medals. It shows Zelensky has a very good heart, and he's a kind leader. That's the way he should do, anyway. It's good. He seems to be a very kind and reasonable guy. Yes. yes. yes and at least he sticks his neck out for his country. Mm. Yes. yes. He's not a coward, and he's not running away. He's the main reason that the soldiers are fighting well mm. and hard. Yes. 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 Uh, he makes a good example. He mm. encourages them. He inspires them. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully present the Shining World Leadership Award for Bravery to His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky with high salute and deep admiration for the extraordinary leadership and noble spirit you have demonstrated in defending the freedom and sovereignty of Ukraine. May you and the brave people of Ukraine always be shielded through God's protection and blessings. May the freedom that you and your people treasure and protect above your life will forever prevail by heaven's decree. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the most merciful beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for here's compassion and love toward here's precious children. The war continues as we speak, but with their president among them, the Ukrainian people continue to maintain their spirit and hope. Our hearts and prayers are with His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky, his family, and the Ukrainian people. May you stay safe and sound through God's protection, and may the war end quickly with the intervention of the international community and from the high heavens. Have an abortion? Don't you wish your mother would have done the same to you?
loving viewers, thank you for joining us today during Ukraine's President, His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky, a global symbol of courage and hope in a time of crisis. Coming up next is Supreme Master Ching Hai's thoughts on the urgent situation in Ukraine, part 5 of 8 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May peace and safety be restored on this planet through God's love and mercy. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash MOS. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule et suprememastertv.com baroblique MOS. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada MOS. 我们的节目提供多种语言，请看suprememastertv.com/schedule和suprememastertv.com/mos。